female archbishopric. The church as the biggest organization in the world with the largest percentage of its membership as women. We must magnify women by authenticating and endorsing their ministries as leaders so that their voices could be heard. Such an act will inter earlier bring down the level of gender-based violence in our country. It has to start with the church. We are not, I will use the word ordained, though it's wrong. We don't ordain. The church authenticates and substantiates what God has already ordained. It is God that ordains. God has ordained so many people. He has ordained men. He has ordained women before the foundations of the earth. And we are not endorsing their gifts. They are also called and we are not authenticating their gifts. So it's time we have to authenticate female archbishops. Arthur said, Ndinga ngabula ya mu female archbishop. Atiru ndiye no doba chikwe imafala achiko upazi instructions. Achiru chimbira nini ye white seat. Unaba tuka naba kotwenya wapala white seat. Nide ni ambena avo. So now we don't have those people in the church. It's only when you talk about archbishops. Ndiru ni nefezi. And I'm saying to you, it's time to disciple them. It's time to perfect them. And let's start nga limpopo. Ritoma apa limpopo. Wadarabo, wafuma kazi ya wadarabo, bangu nizi aji bisho apa nebo. Wui merari ne. We merari no riba authenticate. We we disciples them first. You see, disciples are not born; they are made. We have to decide. Let's not hide what we have. Hezi zitulus rina zorozwa now. Arwa fe zone ba imenga panda. Then we will see. You see, we can, the fulfilling of the Great Commission is not the responsibility of, of men only. It's the responsibility of men and women. When you, if somebody says to you, what is Great Commission? Great Commission means a commandment that Jesus gave to men and women to go into the world. He says, go into the world and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded thee. And lo, I am with with you always, even unto the end of the world. If we don't bring the womb man, we won't reach the whole world. I'll tell you something about the womb man. There was prophecy in the garden. If you look at Genesis 3.15, God says the seed of this woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Prophecy was not directed to Adam, but it was directed to the woman. It was directed to the womb. And the womb is of supreme importance in the Bible. It is the one that carried Jesus Christ. It is the one that carried God for nine months. Oh my God. You know, a female fetus, a female fetus when it's formed on the inside of a woman, it comes with two wombs. You did not know that. It comes with two wombs. As it grows, those two wombs become one. And I ask God, God says the other one is the womb for the sovereign kingdom. And the other one is for men's kingdom. Because you have seven kingdoms. I spoke about that before. Now, God, why should God, the creator, who is spirit, he's not a human being. He's not a, he's not a black man. God is not black. He's not white. He's spirit. God 
planning to go inside the created womb. And the created womb creating the creator inside the womb. And we are, we, we, we ostracize the womb. Come in, Mr. Yayo. No, you can't. We have to. Stanley, we have to. In Stanley, we have to. God inside the womb. Nine months. This woman pushing God. Back pains the mzim. Oh, what a mzim moment. Uko karam is mzim. Joseph, I look so good in At least I made you laugh. <laughs> Animals are looking right there in the manger. Push him. Push him out. Africa, push him out. Hula mzimu wa bebiwa. Aji bebiwa atakuru wa mfuma kazi, wa mtuwa msazi. Amu mamisa. Voda gad. Mutu amu Renera tatam sadzirari we are we bishop or hapani. There is there is an anointing of the womb that we are missing. We talk about a lot of anointings and we say it is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that breaks the yoke of the devil. But I'm here to tell you. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell. You, Let's bring back that anointing of the womb. We are not going to lose anything. We are still the head. We are not going to lose anything. But, but and that's, that's why in the church, when you look at the body of Christ, yeah. I thank you. <laughs>